All right, a question for everyone in the room except Andrew. I don't think he's going to have an opinion on this. Uh, who do you think has it easier in gay sex, tops or bottom? This is a very scientific question because bottom. as a bottom, uh, I have to do a lot of prep work, but I'm also a very active bottom. So I like to move. Put I like your, to wiggle. Put your, keep uh, your face I, in front of the mic. I like to move. I like to wiggle. I like for things to happen. However, you know, once I get to the actual botting part, I can be pretty lazy where the tops are doing all the work and they get real damn sweaty. So I think the prep belongs to the bottoms, but the actual act is probably mutual skewing more towards the top. I think that's 100% accurate. Yeah. JB, your thoughts? Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm going to speak from my perspective. Cause I'm I'm bottom who throws it back. I put Ooh. in the work, and I also do prep work, and then I fuck lazy tops. And bottom. then you know sometimes when you clean out, you spend hours cleaning out, and then there's a one mistake, and then they have the then everything's <laughs> over. A lot of that happens. So you know what? I think I do most of the work. Okay, I I don't know how other bottoms do it, but I be for me, and other bobs like me, we put in the work. I'm gonna agree with Steve. JJ, do you have an opinion? <laughs> I'm going to go somewhere in between JB and the two of you because I definitely see what JB's saying. And there's nothing worse than a lazy top. Mm. Mm. Absolutely I agree. nothing I agree. worse. We all know some of those. We do. It's so unfortunate, really. <laughs> I, here's, I, I agree with Steve, and I just want to add part uh, an addendum to it, which is um, as someone who does top sometimes, even though nobody believes it, <laughs> the challenge for me is – Getting and staying rock hard as a top. And that's mm. important, particularly when you don't have that much to work with to begin with. So <laughs> I take Viagra um, whenever I'm going to top and sometimes even when I'm not going to just, you know, for fun. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, my fear and sort of the stress of it is am I going to be able to stay hard the whole time and also fuck the bottom long enough that he really enjoys it. You know, sometimes I just want to come and it's like, no, I can't come yet. He's not ready. So I, I have, I struggle with that in either position. This is very thoughtful. But as far as prep, my God, I mean, it, and just the fear of like something going wrong. So the reason I brought this up is because there was a debate on Reddit. Is it easier, is sex easier for tops or bottoms? So there, here were the main arguments. Hell yes, it is. A lot of work goes into preparation, food, cleaning, loosening, etc. Of course, all of the actual sex part is usually shared difficulty, but then you also have aftercare. We didn't even think about that. Uh -huh. Tops love your bottoms and treat them special. They do a lot of work to show you a fun time. Um, here's the counter argument or the actually the middle ground. Maybe, maybe not. Depends. As in the underwear you wear when you're incontinent. Uh, depends. <laughs> Topping is easier to prepare for than bottoming, but, and it's a big but, if the top is actually trying to give the bottom a good experience, this requires certain skills. Making sure the bottom is comfortable and not hurting him. Some of them like to be hurt. Also, not wanting to dis disappoint bottoms from finishing too fast, like I just said. So I feel like being a great top is harder than being a good bottom, but physically bottoming can be more time-consuming and demanding. And then finally... Uh, no, it's not to, harder for the bottoms. Lies. So, this is someone on Reddit writing this. Some bottoms just lay there. <gasps> the required work for bottoms mostly happens before and after sex. The required work for tops mostly happens during sex. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. I definitely don't agree that it's easier to be a top. Someone else says, nope, being a bottom is a cinch. Having a clean rectum is easy. Andrew, are you so happy that you're here today? Uh, <laughs> bottoms over douche all the time. This I agree this with. This is true. A fiber, this is important information for everyone. A fiber pill with each meal or glass of water is all I ever do that's special. Since I'm verse, I can tell you that topping, include, topping involves erectile, erectile dysfunction and positioning and is way more complicated and fraught than being the target. <laughs> this person is a liar. Agree. <laughs> liar. liar. Why do you say that? Ain't no, ain't nobody biologically capable of doing one little metamucil with their salad and be like, oh, my God, I'm ready to go at yeah. any time. At no, any not time. at any time. But I, as I've said on the air, I do not douche and I am clean 99% of the time. A lot of fiber in the diet and a, and a healthy diet. I mean, you know, I don't eat meat. Um, and then you eliminate. And you take a really good shower with a lot of soap and fingers, and you're done. 
There's no need to be spraying water into your, your ass. And as Dr. Goldstein has told us several times on this show, it is bad for you. It removes a lining of the rectum. It, it creates more irritation. You're more likely to get diseases. And, uh, and, and yeah, there's, douching is just not something that the asshole was meant for. It's, you know... Yeah, the asshole wasn't well, also meant to take dick, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Where's the lie? <laughs> you know what I recently learned about? Well, I should say in the last in the last year is uh, a party prep. Have you heard of this? No. It's where you take an anti diarrhea diarrhea pill about an hour to an hour and a half before you go out. So this is also for you druggies out there that like to do a little bit of the white stuff. Um, but it keeps you from having any messes the rest of the evening. When you say white stuff, do you mean cocaine? La cocaina. Okay, I recommend never doing cocaine on a night you're planning to bottom. Period. <laughs> Period. But I have learned... <laughs> It cocaine is. is not a good sex drug. All I think is the Patrick B. Period. <laughs> <laughs> period. Um, but I know for, I mean, it really, after um, I, I come to Jesus moment with a friend of mine who was like, just take this pill, the anti diarrhea pill, it really works. I'm always fine. So thank, thank you for. Uh, that is what I sound like after before I take my anti. That's what I sound like after getting fucked when all the air is coming out. <laughs> With a little... but, so coming back to the original point, though, the top never has to worry about the fucking anti diarrhea pill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but and yet and yet, as the top, you're the one that's going to get your dick messy if it is messy. So everyone, listen when when it's messy, it's a problem for everyone in the room. Correct. All ten of them. But again, it's, it, I feel like it's the same concept as, a, as, as if maybe Andrew could quote to this because he's a straight guy. As if you're having sex with a girl, she gets her period. Exactly. Like, why would you make her feel Andrew, bad? let's hear from Andrew yeah. on this. How do, you f- <laughs> how do you feel when you're fucking a woman and suddenly there's blood all over the sheets? I'm extremely worried. <laughs> <laughs> worried that what? Worried uh, how we're going to clean it up. It would be on my dick. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, it looks like I'd murder someone and I'd be like... <laughs> so it is the same. Yeah. It's the same. So now you know what we deal with sometimes. First of all, it is not the same. As a person who has fucked both men and women, there's two very... You have fucked a woman on her period? No. Have I? So you don't know. <laughs> this could be our grossest show ever. I was, you know... I, either, so. I was an equal opportunist in college and I realized, no offense, uh, intern Andrew, how disgusting it is to fuck... <laughs> It wasn't disgusting for me. I fucked a lot of women in college. It was never disgusting. It just wasn't hot. No, but, but I don't remember anyone bleeding yeah. on me. No. Anyway, the point is, sex is messy. Uh, tops and bottoms both have challenges. I think the hardest thing is to be good at what you're doing regardless. To be a truly great bottom or a truly great top requires dedication, practice, thoughtfulness, mindfulness, and cleanliness. <laughs> don't forget the proper breathing technique. And proper breathing. I, 